Hey guys, today is a pretty big day. We are moving the Elmira cook stove out of the tiny cabin and back into the big house. Now, we use the propane attachment on the Elmira to do our cooking inside. So we've had to transition. <laughs> yeah, I need to clean stuff up. We don't do a lot of cooking out here right now. <clears throat> but we have the camp chef and then we have the Aircrete oven on top so we can still bake, we can still cook. And the reason we're moving the Elmira is because we're trying to turn this cabin into an Airbnb. And I'm really uncomfortable with people using a propane cooker in here if they're not familiar with propane. The other reason is, is that I have these wonderful stairs. But if you're dreary and you're coming down the stairs in the morning, the last thing that you should have right in front of you is a sharp corner or a propane burner that might be on. So I want to eliminate some of the risks. You can see I have some of the railings finished, some of the handrails finished on the stairs, and we've pulled everything, we've pulled everything out of the Elmira to make her lighter. And this is my Rubbermaid lid that I use to protect the Elmira from, from water if I'm baking or cooking. But that's what we love about the stove is that it has the propane attachment so that if you really are off grid, you can still cook in the summer. You have the propane attachment. It's not an oven, but it is a stove. And if you have a pressure cooker, it's almost as good as an oven. You can see our hard boiled eggs. Uh, we, we go through this many hard boiled eggs in about four days. So we really love our pressure cooker. It's really important to us when we have, um, when we're off grid to have it. And the stove has been a blessing, but now it's gonna go back to its rightful place in the kitchen. And um, so we've got to get the rest of everything off. We've got to get, we've used it for food storage. We've used it to store pots and pans and it's been wonderful, but I need it out. We're doing that today. So hopefully in the next video, you will see the Elmira stove back in the kitchen in the big house. We're having movers come and do it because I want them to be very careful about the tile in the kitchen. And um, yeah, we've got a lot done. We still have some things left to do. But I'm hoping within maybe another week, we can put it on Airbnb, which would be super exciting. And uh, this is what it looks like. And of course, off grid, so it's hard to film in. But the other things that we're trying to figure out, although that is the most exciting thing, and I never have good lighting when I'm showing my beautiful stove. The other exciting thing is that Darwin is putting the, um, the new rocket stove into the basement in the house. So that poor house will have one, two, three, three wood stoves in it. The wood stove downstairs, the cook stove upstairs, and then we will be having the rocket stove, the new improved Aircrete rocket stove in the room downstairs just at the base of the stairs so that the heat will automatically go up the stairs. And instead of doing it out a chimney, we're once again gonna show that you can put it out a window so that if you're just using it for emergencies, you don't always have to have it installed. So I'm super excited. It's a great day. And if you're interested in homesteading, make sure to check out our eBooks on our Etsy store. I'll put that in the link in the description. If you're interested in Aircrete Rocket Stoves, make sure to go check out the Honeydew Carpenter. I'll put his link in the cards. And we're so glad you came in. And I'm so sorry about the bad lighting, but it will be exciting to see the Elmira go in tomorrow. So we'll talk to you later.